More than five million planes take off and land every year. They face the most severe conditions on the planet. In the course of just one flight, a plane can take off from the raging heat of a desert with temperatures over 100 degrees and then within minutes be exposed to the freezing cold at high altitude where it can drop to 50 degrees below zero. Safety is the key issue. Aircraft manufacturers and airlines spend millions of dollars on protecting aircraft from the most severe weather imaginable. The wings suffer more stress than any other part of the plane. Before this new Boeing 777 goes into service, its wings are put through the ultimate test. This aircraft is having its wings bent to see just how much turbulence they can take. They're designed to withstand a deflection of over 24 feet, almost 150% greater than the strongest forces they will encounter. The pressure is so great that it deforms the metal fuselage. The new design reaches 154% before the wings finally disintegrate. extreme edge of research, NASA scientists have even deliberately sent planes into thunderstorms to find out how to protect the fuselage from a lightning strike. The research has paid off. Modern aircraft are extremely well protected from the weather. But despite all this effort, there have been some appalling disasters. Lightning was responsible for the downing of a Boeing 727 in July 1982. Pan Am Flight 759 took off from New Orleans International Airport and climbed 4,000 feet through a severe thunderstorm. Eyewitnesses reported that the tail section of the plane was hit by lightning. Less than two minutes into the flight and only two miles from the airport, the plane crashed into a residential area. It plowed through five blocks of houses, spewed thousands of gallons of jet fuel and set them on fire. Eight residents were killed. There were no survivors from the 136 passengers and seven crew members on board. Helicopters are a lot more vulnerable than planes in bad weather. If lightning hits the rotor blades, it can unbalance the motor and destroy the engine. In January 1995, lightning blew the tail rotor blades off a helicopter during a violent storm. It ditched into the sea off the Scottish coast. Despite 35 mile per hour winds, the pilot managed to land the helicopter safely. All the passengers and crew escaped without serious injury. There was a bang and a flash, which we believe to be lightning. It was a surprisingly gentle landing. Uh, the helicopter remained upright and stable, and we were able to evacuate the helicopter. Our job is to cope when this happens. That's what we're trained for. It's, it's a strange job whereby you're trained to do something you hope you never have to do. If the helicopter had gone in the water upside down, we'd have been villains. It went in the right way up, and we're heroes. This TLC program is sponsored in part by Zoom Takes Off. Airport air traffic controllers are responsible for guiding planes through takeoff, landing, and ground movements. They need to be able to see the planes at all times. 
When poor visibility makes their job difficult, a ground radar becomes their eyes. It tracks all moving vehicles on the ground and all planes landing and taking off up to 200 feet. Even the length of a runway is determined by the weather. The lift on an aircraft wing is far more efficient when it is surrounded by dense air. Air density decreases with height above sea level. A plane taking off from Denver, 5,300 feet above sea level, has to take off faster and over a longer runway than in Los Angeles. And in the summer, air is warmer and lighter than in the winter. So a plane needs a longer takeoff. Once airborne, pilots must be alert to all hazards the weather can throw at them. Hailstorms can cause unbelievable damage. These small blocks of ice are formed inside huge storm clouds up to 10 miles across. The tops of the clouds can tower over 12 miles high, where the temperatures drop to minus 112 degrees. At these great heights, water vapor sucked up by the strong updraft freezes into ice pellets. As the pellets fall, more water droplets freeze onto them. The updraft sends the pellets back up until, too large to stay up, they plummet to the ground as hailstones. If an aircraft strays into a hailstorm, the windows must be strong enough to withstand the impact. But if it gets into the engine, the plane could be headed for total disaster. Hail can smash the fans in a jet engine. The turbine blades shake themselves apart, and the engine bursts into flames. In April 1977, a DC-9 was coming into Atlanta. The pilot radioed he'd struck a severe hailstorm. First, one of his engines failed. Then, his cockpit window smashed. His second engine went up in flames. He attempted an emergency landing on a two-lane highway. As the plane roared down towards the road, its undercarriage struck a car and killed the four occupants. The plane finally veered into a grocery store and burst into flames. Sixty-eight people died. The massive electrical field surrounding a thunderstorm can create sparks. This may have been responsible for the worst airship accident in history. The Hindenburg was 800 feet long, the largest airship ever built. It was filled with 7 million cubic feet of hydrogen gas. It was May 6, 1937. Hours late on its trip from Hamburg because of headwinds, the Zeppelin had to ride out a thunderstorm along the Jersey coast before heading for the air station and nosing its way to the mooring mast. The wind is bad and the docking is a ticklish one, but it's all a thrill for the crowd of happy passengers eager to land after their transoceanic trip. Slowly the big ship warps in and the ground crews rush for the mooring lines. In another 10 minutes or so, the great aircraft would have been snugly docked. But as the passengers crowded the windows to watch, a roar and a burst of flame near the big tail fins turned the ship into a flaming inferno. seven people on board, miraculously, 61 survived. Experts believe a spark created by the thunderstorm ignited a small leak from the gas tanks, triggering the inferno. 